d equal to a minus b now coming to a decoder so black box with n input and 2 raised to power n output lines so decoder is used if uh, so in decoder first you have to know how many inputs are there if you are going with the n input decoder in that case so inputs are n so how many outputs you will get you will get 2 raised to power n output in case of binary decoder ok and at a time only one bit only one input one output is high okay. so if you want to, to select many uh, one output from the many outputs so during that time you can go with the binary decoder like in case of memories also so we are using decoder there so you take example suppose n is 3 bit so how many possible combinations should come at the output terminal 8 right so that is what they are trying to say from this uh, binary decoder now 2 is to 4 uh, binary decoder so 2 inputs x and 4 y and 2 raised to power n output so 2 raised to power uh, 2 means 4 output so f0 f1 f2 and f3 are the 4 outputs so when x y x and y is 0 0 during that time you are enabling f0 output ok when x and y is 0 1 during that time you are enabling f1 output so when x y is 1 0 during that time you are enabling f2 output and 1 1 you are enabling f3 output so this is uh, the way uh, how to implement these things okay from truth table circuit for two two is to four decoder is so now uh, they are showing a truth table for two is to four decoder now from there they are implementing a different uh, their schematic so when x and y both are zero during that time they are selecting this gate f not right so they are inverting and they are using this thing when uh, x and y is zero one during that time they are taking this so x is 0 means they are inverting these things and they are taking at this point and after that they are taking x y is directly 1 and they are getting f1 so in this way you can implement a schematic diagram for a 2 is to 4 binary decoder from truth table circuit from 2 is to 4 decoder is so you can see a 2 is to 4 decoder note each output is a 2 variable mean terms so it output you can see is a two variable mean term x bar y bar here also x bar by y x y bar then x y so this is a two variable mean terms now coming to three to four binary decoder okay now in three is to uh, four binary decoder means three inputs x and y and z so eight binary output f not f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 f7 so based on that see you can see only one bit is uh, high at a time right so after that uh, you are uh, implementing the schematic diagram for the 3 bit binary decoder right so x and y and z are the 3 bits and uh, these are the output f0 f1 f2 f3 and f7 these are the 8 outputs and you are taking 3 is to 8 decoders now coming to the encoders the simplest encoder is 2 raised to power n to n binary encoder so encoder is the somewhat uh, inverse of uh, decoder okay so the function of encoder is they are taking uh, so simplest encoder is 2 raised to power n to n binary encoder okay so one of the 2 raised to power n input is 1 so they are having a 2 raised to power n inputs and you are getting n output so output is an n bit binary number so it's n bit binary number so example is 2 raised to power n to n binary encoder we'll see the example now see the example of 8 to 3 binary encoder so this is the inputs there are 8 inputs at a time one input is high so if one input is high like i0 is high then they are encoding that thing as 0 0 0 so when uh, i1 is high and all other zeros means they are taking that thing as 0 0 1 so in this way you have to encode the all the inputs to the outputs okay so at any one time only one input line has a value of 1 so that is what I explained you now after that after getting this now they are implementing uh, the schematic they are implementing the schematic diagram for that so I not you see for y2 they are implementing for y1 they are implementing for y0 they are implementing so in this way you have to uh, implement uh, the schematic diagram for 8 to 3 binary encoder okay now coming to 8 is to 3 priority encoder so what if more than one input line has a value of one so if they are saying that if more than one input uh, are having one then what you will do ignore lower priority inputs idle indicates that no input is one 
so how to implement uh, priority encoder uh, we will we'll see when all the inputs are zero so during that time your output are x so you are in idle state when your i naught is one uh, so it will give give you zero 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 this means that i naught is having higher priority than any other input signal so when i naught is one no need to check any other signal it will directly give you zero zero as an uh, output and you are coming to next state that is not idle you, you can say this is a process state when i naught is x means if i naught is zero so during that time your uh, you have to check i uh, i one so second highest priority you are giving to i one if i one is one so during that time your output is zero zero one and you are not you are in process state so similarly you have to proceed for all so if you see the uh, priority so i naught is having higher priority than i one than i two so it will increase in the it will decrease in this way so i naught with higher priority and i seven is the lowest priority so in this way you can implement eight is to three priority encoder encoder application uh, so they have